In this video, we'll discuss the directional derivative using the gradient and the unit vector. Or find a relation between the directional derivative du and the gradient of the same function. It can be written as dot product of two vectors. The first vector is the gradient. This is the gradient, right? fxi plus fyj is the gradient as we defined it here. And the second one is the unit vector, the given unit vector. Or from this formula, we'll be able to calculate the directional derivative using gradient. And calculate gradient firstly, then just do the dot product with the unit vector, we'll be able directly evaluate the directional der derivative. How can, we, how can we calculate dot product? First component from the first vector times the first component in the second vector plus second component from the first vector times the second component in the second vector will give us, of course, scalar quantity. If you have, if you have a vector u equals a and b and another vector v equals c and d then the dot product a c plus b b right so it can be written in a brief way like this it's this one is the gradient which is uh, uh, denoted by nabla f dot the unit vector u. So it is again dot product. Then let's have this example. And in this example, the unit vector for the required uh, unit vector to have the direction uh, uh, derivative is not given. But instead, we have two points. Two points in the space, one of them called D negative 3 over 4 and 0, and q 0 and 1. So we can, from, from these two points, can calculate the vector. Then from the vector, we'll, we can calculate the unit vector. It's calculated b minus q, calculated as q minus b, I mean point q minus point q, which is 0 minus minus uh, 3 over 4 will give 0 plus 3 over 4, and the second component is 1 minus 0, is the, the, uh, the vector itself. We don't need the vector itself. We, we, we have to generate or calculate a unit vector in the direction of the main vector, or this vector, which is so the, uh, the vector BQ is 3 over 4i plus j. So we don't have to use this one. Uh, we have to calculate a unit vector. Or it's the vector itself divided by its norm or its magnitude. We have to calculate the magnitude. Do you remember the magnitude? It's the square root of the first component square plus the second component square. So the first component square is 3 over 4, and here is. 1 over 4, this square means 9 over 16. And here 16 over 16 will be 25 over 16. And the root, the root of 25 over 16 is 5 over 4. The norm is 5 over 4. This at the end gave 5 over 4. And this is the norm. And divide each component here by the, the norm or the vector norm, which is 5 over 4, uh, will give us this quantity. I mean, because c over 4 divided by 5 over 4 will give c over 5. And 1 divided by 5 over 4 will give 4 over 5. It's simple calculation you can do so. So we'll calculate gradient by calculating the two derivative give 6xi minus 4yj and you can check here just 
the derivative of cx squared is 6x, and the derivative of uh, y is negative 4y. So just put it here, we'll get the gradient. And here we have the unit vector. Uh, also, we'll, we'll substitute in the given point. Uh, just substitute the two value, do some calculation, then the gradient just equal negative 9 over 2i. So the last step is to do the dot product of the gradient dot the unit vector. The gradient is minus 9 over 2, but this is the point. The, the negative 3 and 4 is the point itself. So again, we multiply the first component times the second component plus second component times second component, which is zero, will be negative value nine times three, 27, and two times five is 10. So this is the directional uh, derivative at the point negative three, four, and 10. 